Any old iron, any old iron, any, any old iron. I believe is how that song goes. I don't really know. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, I'm just going to put in a splitter here. And then I'm also going to need some underground belts. Two of them. To actually get the materials to where I want them. Should work quite well. Here we go. Right, I need one here to feed through there. And one here to feed through to there. That'll be quite fine. And then I put that splitter there. Move that. Quickly slap together a couple more belts so that this coal processing can feed it. And here we go, that'll split it. Then it'll go into both systems. Quite neat. And there, as you can see, coal just going around there, being loaded straight into the furnace on automatic. So yeah, lovely job. I need a couple more inserters now. There we go. But yeah, you, you, you can see what I'm doing with this. It's quite nice and simple, really. That should be able to feed it. And then I have a couple more loaders to in insert the materials. Then I allow it to come up here. Just like that. And it's loading into all the furnaces as it needs it. So these, these furnaces are now running full automatic as far as lo loading into fuel is concerned and things like that. Though they can't actually unload yet. That is a, a big issue. So I need to address that quite shortly. But a slightly more urgent need is actual defence. That's why I'm trying to build some packs, get some research going. Things like that. Can I build another loader? I'm, I'm too busy building research packs. So yeah, next goal is get some enough research packs, get a weapon up. And then try to get some more automation going in because this is a decent start, I think. I also turned the autosave down, so it's about 10-15 minutes. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'll get back to you once I've got a bit more automation flowing and actually managed to do something better with this. Just load that. I'm just mining that coal up there because... Sorry, coal, that stone, because I'm going to need it. So, you know. Okay, we now have access to military tech. Which is good. I'm just tacking in some more... Well, the other half of this, really. Like that. You can see where I'm going now with the carousel. And let's see, that's one, two there, so... Hmm. No, that should do it. And there we go. It's now looping around, so that'll just fill it with materials, supplying them to all of those. Let's get some more grabbers on. Now I need some more tech here, but first things first, most important, submachine gun. Now, what does that run on? I think it runs on regular magazines there, doesn't it? I think it does. Yes, it does. I need to craft a bunch of magazines just to get myself ready, really, for what's inevitably going to happen. And then I'm going to need a couple of bits and pieces as well, so this is, this is all getting important. I'm advancing further. It's going nice. But what I really, really need is some more mining, some more iron. And my next tech goal is is that almost done for 27 magazines i think that should be enough for now my next tech goal is going to be automation because that is going to give me access to f a, an automatic assembly machine so i can actually start automating some of this production first step getting my main factory up and long handled inserter long handled long handed and that is another key research because that is what I'm going to use to feed into this little bit I've added onto here in the carousel. And this is going to be the line that takes out what the furnaces produce. I've got some more metal here to go into it. So yeah, all of the stuff will be grabbing into them 
from this outer line here and then there's a single central line in the middle that brings out what it makes so yeah it's um, a system that I quite like just put it there, put it there actually that's going to have to be there mm, I'm going to have to move those two because I, I want them to be the same all the way down really so put one there, put one there that's fine let's craft up a couple more of those more of those and then I need to get some another 10 research packs but research packs are the slow point at the moment let's get some more copper going just in case I don't really need that much copper at the moment but I'm going to soon enough so there is still that Ooh. I'm still waiting for the penny to drop with that lot because they've not actually attacked me yet I hope I remember how to shoot <laughs> Kind of embarrassing if um, I get killed at this point because I've forgotten how to shoot. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I need to mine this up. I need to start mining that up. So I'm going to build another extractor after that. Followed by a chest. Just start working on that. And once I've got that, this up as a source of metal this up as a source of copper then I'm going to start actually building proper defences because when a full scale attack comes it's going to be overwhelming in every possible sense of the word in fact I should probably provoke a bit of combat right now just start clearing it out yeah come and get me just cleared out a few stragglers, but um, revealed a bit more. You can see a bit of the enemy base down there. It's it's the closest one, really, so I think that's going to be the first point that's going to try and attack me a lot. I need to be aware of it. Okay, I've got that there. I just need to get that running. This is only going to be a temporary mine here. All the mines temporary because they'll run out sooner or later. Except for oil. So that's an important one to harvest a lot of. But I've got so much copper. Hmm. And I've not got enough iron, so I need to expand my iron mining. Just like that. Yep, yep, get that going. That's a bit more research. I've only got the one mine down here, so... I need to expand that. Uh, but the thing is when the aliens start attacking me from the nearest base down there they'll be coming in straight like that straight into this area just oh I can build radar okay I need a radar they'll they'll attack the mines and things if there's not anything nearby that immediately starts trying to kill them so that's going to be a problem Let's cut out some more trees Okay, research. I've got assemblers and long handles and inserters. Fine. Next up I need, what do I need? I need automatic turrets now. For now it's going to have to be these gun turrets. Which are fine, except for the fact that they use, you know... <laughs> they use metals to build their bullets and things like that. So th that is an issue. I need some long handles. I don't have enough... Um, Iron, it's, it's iron I'm short of, again. But these furnaces are, starting to, are, are cooking up a storm at the moment, so I'm not too worried about that. And because I've automated the fuel, the power supply, that's taking over quite nicely. I need to expand that. Hmm. I could put one there. Oh. Yeah, you see what I mean? There's, I'm starting to draw their attention with how close I'm getting. No. Bad alien. Bad. Any more? No. Okay. They're starting to get annoyed at me. Mind you, I, I am an alien invader, technically. So, yeah. Okay, there's a power plant there. There we go. I'll just unplug that for a second. Then reconnect it there. And there. Okay, that's both of those fine. That's doubled my iron income now. 
can build another splitter. Let's do that. Might as well get this thing flowing nicely. So get that, get that. Five, ten. Right. Yeah. Now, research. Drop that straight into there. Get it researching. Find that. This is only a small iron deposit, which is actually a concern. I've got, mind you, I've got to uh, maybe a hundred thousand total in this thing. N no, maybe about fifty thousand total. Oh, my radar's done. Let's plonk that down just here. Oh, cool! They've updated the model for that as well. Radar Erechia. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to get a much bigger view already. But I'm also low on power now, so I need another steam engine. It's never simple, is it? It's never simple. Everything's running about 80% effectiveness, so let's get... There we go. What, what's my temperature at? Only 60 odd degrees, I need another boiler. And that means another inserter. I can put that way in there. Right. Unplug that, plug it straight into there, and then automatically fueling. That should get the temperature back up. Though what will it get it up to? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that that's full power now. No, it not quite. It's, oh, yes, it. It just hesitated quite a lot there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what's, what I was talking about. I was going to. Um, I mentioned I was going to get this thing splitting properly or something like that so yeah let's get that on and the idea is I want this to even out between the two sides like that so as you can see it's now splitting whatever comes into here and then distributing it evenly between the two sides of this conveyor it's not that important right now, but it will be in the future because it means it's um, evenly inserting everything or something like that. Yeah, that, that carousel is working quite nicely at the moment. <laughs> ah, progress. Now, let's start exporting some of this iron like that. Oh, tech. Right. Um, I could go for stone walls. Oh, gates and things. That's nice. Uh, I want some armor now, actually, so let's go and get... No, let's not. Mm, what do I want? What do I want? No, that's 50. Yeah, look, 20 capsules, 50 capsules, 10, 50, 50, 50. This is all getting pretty pricey now for what I can do by myself. And that is something that needs to be aware of. There we go. Now, I just need to finish the central line like that. And there we go. It's putting out all the metal down here. And I've also, since I've, it's got nowhere to go at the moment, I've just got this little arm down here. And it's stashing metal just in that. Though I should probably make it a fast inserter. Just so that it can actually keep up. That's just a temporary storage box, effectively. And yeah, look that. It's already building up a backlog of metal. That's that's kind of nice. There we go. And it's just picking it all up. Like that. So I can help it out a bit by grabbing some excess inventory out like this. This thing can process metal much faster than I'm actually getting it. So that's really good. I'm, I'm going to have no shortage of steel plates for the time being. Did I build those research packs? No, I did not. Ugh. Right, I'm going to need some... Uh, right, okay. My next task is I need to get copper. I need to get a lot more copper. So I'm going to start working on that. And effectively, I'm just going to duplicate this entire carousel design here. Except a little bit further over and it'll be making copper. So I'll see you again once I've got that sorted out. <laughs> um, yeah, I just remembered something, which I should have remembered a bit sooner. You guys probably 
if you're paying attention, you're probably just um, shouting at me or something like that. And the point is that I still need to get defences up quite a lot. So yeah, I've just put out a couple of gun turrets. I'm putting them down here, defend this edge of the defences. And yeah, just put that there. One, two. Now, one, two. I'm shorting myself of ammo here, but these guns will have ten clips each, just regular magazines, and that should hold off a, a, any couple of interlopers kind of thing. I still don't know what that is. Stone rock. But yeah, that should... That'll protect my metal extractors down there while I get on with building this next carousel system which lines up to there okay fine so yeah I'll, I'll keep on with this and again I'll see you shortly okay this is uh, going quite nicely I'm just churning out a couple of last belts and this is the copper conveyor system it's already fully loaded I've upgraded the uh, coal line to sift things through so it's evening out on coal as well, things like that. Just to increase how much is going through on these one resource belts like this. Uh, that said though, my level activity is actually starting to get enough to make the natives restless kind of thing. I've already had um, an attack from the left side now, very small, took out a post. That was it. Slightly damaged the transport belt. But it came in from the, the other side over here, so I need to get some more defences up. One of my problems is that this is not exactly a defensible position that I've started in. So I need to start making some walls. And things like that. Yeah, look, look at all that iron plate. Lovely. Tr truthfully, this, this capacity is a lot higher than... Um, what I actually need at the moment. So it's a lot of redundancy built in for the future. Right now it's just um, churning out plates with me not needing them really. Let's get another, some more steam engines down here. Yeah, and I'll need some more pipe as well. Because again, I kind of future proof this a little bit. But right now, it's it's actually doing okay. Though it says satisfaction is... Yeah, I thought it was fluctuating, but it doesn't seem to be. The engines are performing at... Oh, yeah, that, that was not. That was at full power. This one is not. Okay, that, that's why it's fluctuating, because they're not, not connected properly. There we go, That that's okay. That's out of fuel again. How much stone has it got? An absolute ton of stone. That's doing quite nicely. I need to upgrade that to an electric. Let's see. If I can make an electric, yes, okay, fine. I need to make myself some more bullets. I've got not very much. Let's take another 15 clips. Just leave it like that. But yeah, that's, um, I can also make myself some iron body armor at the moment, which is nice. This future proofing, as far as engines concerned, also nice. Though how I have actually messed up the positioning of this is not so nice. I'm going to have to tear this up and move it because it's encroaching on where I want to build my expansion for the power plants. Is that the good place? That is the good place. Okay. Let's pop that there. Fine. Now then. No, that's not right. And then turn that. Turn that. One there. Okay, yep, that'll do it. Just relocated that um, splitting bit. Nice, even, smooth resource flow. Pull up the stone extractor, put in a big one, hook it up, and hooray for some more electric automation. 
while I just start installing a few bits and bobs here. Right, there we go. That's another two engines running. Well, two engines plugged in, plumbed in anyway. So that's a nice expansion, as far as my power needs are concerned. And I can do that. I wanted to get some more boilers in, like that. Pull out that piece of pipe there, put it in there. And there you go, I've um, done some basic reconnection. Just like that. I have more power. More power! Though some of the boilers aren't actually able to fuel up. That is a slight issue. Oh, I'm actually short on copper this time. No problem. Since I've got copper production running. <laughs> right. My next step, really, going into this is I'm going to need some more automation. I mentioned earlier that I was going to do some factories and things, but I've not got around to it just yet, because I've not needed it. But I am about to need it. I'm about to need it quite badly. So, first things first. Thank you for the autosave. Right. I need to get some tech going. To get tech, I need to produce flasks. So this will be my first step, automation. To get a flask, I need to produce copper plates and iron gear wheels. Iron gear wheels are iron plates, so I need to get iron plates and copper plates. Right, let's put it like that. There we go. That's splitting it onto that side of the line. Put that there. Yes, I know I've got power. Just give me a second. There we go. That's everything reconnected. Good. Right. Now that will let me put some copper out like that. And this iron, I want to build like that. I actually need some more bullets. Okay. So this iron, I want it to be like that. So this will end up on the other side of the thing, like so. Right, so if I take out these arms, just rotate them like that, just rotate the other one, so they stop stockpiling it. Yep, there we go. Iron is pulling up on the right hand side. Copper filling up on the left hand side. It's looking pretty good. And this is going to be my first industry feeding line. Which is going to be taking resources and transporting them to where other sections of my industry might need them. I think I'll turn it around here. Just need to duck it under that. So it get past the coal line and it's just running up there like so. 